Hey guys, it's Poe back again with Let's Get Techie. It's only been a couple of days since my last upload. I don't normally do back-to-back -back videos like this. Have the Monday blues got you down? You're just not feeling quite right today. You're seeing all these videos on YouTube, Vega this, Threadripper that, X399, Liquid Cooled, Radeon Pack, Ultra Wide Monitors. I get it. I get it. It's information overload. Um, it's a lot of stuff that's out of reach for the majority of people. So today, partially to make you guys feel better and partially because I don't have enough money for those things either, we're going to be taking a look at a more budget option. It's an R3 and an ASUS Strix B350 board. I hope you all have a much better Monday. So we're gonna start this video out by unboxing our Ryzen 3 1300X. So this is pretty standard fare if you've seen the rest of the Ryzen series unboxing. Uh, it's all packaged the same, we get the same goodies. Uh, one of the differences with this one is even though it's an X series processor, it does include a factory cooler. It comes with this Wraith Stealth. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull that out and take a look at it. So it's definitely a much lower profile. Uh, says that it's good for up to 65 watt TDP. Um, I'm sure it would probably get the job done. Uh, I doubt that it's going to leave you too much overclocking headroom, so this would probably be something that I would upgrade uh, if I was trying to max overclock this uh, CPU. Uh, and then we'll take a look at the chip. Uh, same deal with the rest of them. Got the fancy uh, sticker case badge. I'm not a real big fan of those. I think they're kind of corny, uh, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and take a look at the motherboard. If I'm honest, I'm slightly more excited about this motherboard than I am the actual CPU. There is also an X370 version of this board. Uh, really the main differences are the X370 allows for SLI and, let me get this in view here, the other difference between the X370 and this B350 board is that on the X370 you've got the RGB lighting up here, whereas on this B350 you've actually got the RGB lighting down here. Uh, again, this one is only certified for Crossfire. You do need a by 8 connection to run SLI, uh, so this board will not do for SLI but I really feel like this is one of the best looking, if not the best looking B350 motherboard on the market. Uh, down here at the bottom, we have uh, one of two RGB connectors. So one here, there's another one right here. So this one is actually for any RGB cooler that you might be adding. So one of the higher end coolers like the Wraith Spire, uh, you would usually connect it here but since we don't have an RGB cooler, the Wraith Stealth does not come with RGB. Uh, this could actually be used to power another RGB strip. Um, we have plated armor on two out of the three by 16 slots. Uh, we also have an M.2 slot right here for some NVMe storage. And to be perfectly honest, I just think this is a gorgeous board, especially for what you pay for it. I uh, actually got it on sale, spent just a hair over $100 on this, and then after the mail-in rebate, it actually brings it down to less than $100. So that was just a quick look at the CPU and motherboard. Uh, by no means did I want to go into great detail uh, in this video. I just wanted to give you guys a preview, show you what it looked like, we're definitely going to dive deeper on this stuff. I uh, really just wanted to give you guys a look at what you all have a chance to win. Uh, make sure that you get subscribed if you aren't already. Make sure that you get over to Gleam and enter this contest for your chance to win. There's already been well over a thousand entries. Don't be the one that doesn't enter. You'll regret it. I'm telling you, you'll regret it.